This is a really good indication of what happens when we uh, work together. You know, it usually is true that the best ideas are those uh, that come about when you listen to each other. And this is a perfect example of that because uh, last year in the, uh, uh, in the face of so many of the, uh, the horrible killings and, 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 and shootings in Wilmington, uh, the mayor uh, really took the lead uh, with the clergy and said, Let, how is it that we can work together uh, to, to make, uh, to, w between the state and the uh, Wilmington Police Department uh, to, to make things uh, safer? I had a chance a couple of months ago to do a walk along with um, uh, Colonel Coop and uh, uh, some other folks from the Delaware State Police. Uh, basically, it was a Saturday night starting around 7 o'clock from about Concord uh, Avenue up to 31st Street uh, Market, a uh, block or two either way. And uh, we walked for a couple hours. And uh, we walked block to block, house to house. We saw, talked to the kids who were out. We went literally from porch to porch and talked to people who were out who were it, it's really uh, enthusiastic to see the troopers. I mean, let's face it, all these people want is the opportunity to, uh, to raise their kids uh, in a safe neighborhood. Uh, that's, what, that's all any of us want. And um, you know, coming out of that, in addition, uh, last year I signed a number of pieces of legislation focused on gun safety. Uh, some of this uh, over uh, some significant opposition uh, throughout the state. Uh, but we believe that it was the right thing to do. And one of the bills that uh, came out of that was Senator Marshall's bill uh, on, uh, on the gun buyback uh, program. Um, I really appreciate the, uh, the mayor's uh, not only support, but more importantly, uh, the mayor's leadership uh, of this. He, you know, he is the first one to recognize that the only way uh, we, we make things better is when we figure out a way to work together uh, to check egos at the door and say the only thing that, that really matters is the safety of those that we uh, collectively uh, represent. And so this uh, particular program, uh, the brainchild of Senator Marshall, but with the cooperation of so many uh, others in the city, the county, and the state. Also, I, I think, I don't know if I uh, acknowledge Jay Street over there, speaking of uh, county government, who's long been an advocate. Jay was one of the ones who came in last year with the mayor and with others. And I, you know, it's very clear, and, I, and, and Secretary Shalero said, we're, we're, not, you know, we're not going to uh, arrest our way out of this uh, program, uh, out of this problem. Um, having police on the streets is important, but that, that also is not sufficient. Buying guns back, important, but not sufficient. I mean, we really have to uh, think about the entire picture here. Senator Marshall was just saying to me a moment ago, he says, you know, that keep focusing on those jobs because when the more of these uh, 15 to $20 an hour jobs that we create, the more likely it is that we're going to be taking the people off the street who may end up uh, in some other kind of trouble. And I think he's absolutely right. Uh, I just um, I am grateful to uh, all of the stakeholders who are here today, uh, who are standing up at, at the Attorney General's office as well. Kathy, thank you for being here. Uh, Attorney General Biden certainly been a, a big champion of uh, uh, all of these uh, public safety initiatives as well. Bottom line, the only way we make progress here is when we figure out a way to work together.